wanted to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to ire, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. and you'll jinx our work. You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? <sighs> 35's as low as we'll go. Twenty-five's our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tram. No deal. Come on, boys! Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Tin Boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? News travels fast. Get it. What do we do? Kill the whole set. Try the This is. Leg it. This way. Geralt, quickly! Could be more in there. Follow me. What now?
Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Hattori, wait. Ah. Oh. No discounts, no credit. Heathen. Wondering all I had. Hattori? You in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits. Make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Stay out of my way. You're a vulgar one. I can see it in your face. Open up. What are you offering? See you. I should interject. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. 
Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Garrett? You and the merchant. What was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that plough and rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk me at first. Skellig and mead. We need barrels. We'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to batter. Favor for a favor, huh? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Your brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay. But it's fair. Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get... Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skelliger. Got a problem with Sucrus? <laughs> I thought, mead. I shall import mead. Daft idea for a business. The import duties... My bollocks shrivel at the thought. I paid the bastard what we agreed, less half the duties. And palm trees will sooner sprout in Skelliger. Yeah, I know. Palm trees have sprouted on Skelliger. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way. Greetings. 
know, eh, Garrett? No, you don't. Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Your wives miss me. <laughs> Satori, see Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No, you'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. 
My nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark them with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. You look familiar. Just to open the oh. door. Oh. 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 Know you? Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us. You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yappen's Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I'll lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? What I'm looking for is none of your business. Ought to just let me through. Way's all clear. You got brawny thighs, stranger. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. This is goat fucker! Oi, Geralt. It's the bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus, why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you? That plowy non human will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Slow down, Sucrus. Let's talk. I gotta save me brother-in-law. Attack! So you do it. We could conquer all Nilfgaard with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes to. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I gotta pay him a visit too. Yesterday, it's the war 
Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. What do you have on offer? So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Somebody was bound. Rope was cut quickly, with a dull blade. 
someone walked through the spilled wine. Someone was running, fast, panicked, prints are deep and suddenly. Claw marks, a flyer, swooped down. Judging by the claw marks, gotta be a wyvern or a fork tail. Shattered the wine barrel, but seems the people managed to escape. Kedwani. Smell will linger for hours. just before you reach the cave. Boy, Creve, Your eyes. They shine so in the dark. Thought at first it was a lizard coming. Thing that attacked. How big was it? Well, too big to squeeze in here. It were huge. And those teeth, ugh, we barely escaped. Wonder if it killed the traders. Poor son sure had it coming. Important thing now's to get out of here. Will ye help, Master Witcher? Which one of you's Tamil? That one over there. Beast got him. But how do you know? His brother asked me to come and find you. Tell me what happened. Some traders hired us. To protect them along the high road, they said. Before we knew it, they'd bound us like calves. Why? They were kind enough to explain and real precise that we were necessary sacrifice for progress and trade. So they left us, tied to the wagon as beast bait. Weren't long for a huge lizard appeared, as if its master had whistled. Monsters must have learned by now that army supplies travel down this road. Oi. Clever one, the lizard. Cut us off straight away. Left us to crawl in here. Poor Tommy Hill didn't make it. Need to tend to the monster. Doubt I'll have to look far. Wyverns like to herd their prey towards their nests. We'll wait here. Wouldn't want to get in your way. Oh, Wyvern. Lucky me.
wasn't them that attacked those people. Gotta be a royal wyvern hiding around here somewhere. More will spawn. Need to destroy the nests. Draconid nest. Need to destroy it. It's huge. What's the name again? Royal Wyvern. Don't usually come this big. It's feasting plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call ye, master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. It'll be a tale to tell the young'uns. Let's dance. <laughs> Those boys wanted to go to the merchants to Greetings. I found your friends. I have spoken to them. They're too damn bad Tom Hill didn't make it. Here, take this. Thanks. Farewell.
flies like a cat. You catch mice too. Darkness everywhere. I, I see it all around. Uh, uh, uh. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Heard you had a griffin problem. Oh, I Kill some villagers north of Crow's Perch. Folk came complaining to the Baron. He finally wearied of all the lamenting, offered a reward for the beast's head. Good thing, too. I could use some crowns. Well, folk say all kinds of shite about you lot. We've got to give a witcher his due. Here, fair pay for a fair day's work. Fancy again, the little stock. Show me what you got. See ya. Looks like you got south last night too. This is the haunted house.
whole building shaking, but a Spectre would have attacked me already. Inhabitant clearly left in a hurry. Scattered salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. Air flowing through this crack. There's something in there. somehow. break its magic bonds. A few days more and it would have wreaked havoc all around.
Yes? House shouldn't give you any more trouble. A little renovation and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why, the estate's price just spiked sharply. What precisely was the problem? Earth Elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. <laughs> Far more interesting than a ghost, that's certain. And the cellar you mentioned, is it an estate to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we should see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Eternal fire protects us. But the witch is no loitering round here.
Geezer Copper. Welcome, welcome. Willing to craft something for me? Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Degeneracy. The downfall Move of on. civilization. Wonderful. All right. Double chase. They hate you too, fat girl. I serve the eternal fire. No credit. Welcome, Master Witcher. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hotch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Of course, of course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked him. Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer is just not enough. Very well. Let us say that's a price I'll pay willingly. I'll take the job. This logger, where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, he was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. So, what do you 
What's it gonna be? hut. Need to find the spot where they died. Deep ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road, probably towards their clearing. There's a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. Claude the Rock must have been angry and strong. A dwarf went this way. back. Bled to death. Roots pinned this one to the ground. So hard he suffocated. Everything says Leshen. A young one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve Leshens. Should find some near the totem. Birds, false trail. <sighs> Ordinary ravens looks like no sign of a totem. Not a 
possession these birds. False trail. Lo oh, and behold, a Leshen's totem. Now, to destroy it, ought to piss it off, make it leave its lair. Welcome, Master Witcher. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain no other Leshen will show? It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a Witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell. Next blow to tell me a witch's heart is cold witch the woes coming. of the common. Get my fist down his lying heart. Come on. Not a living 
soul in sight. Something evil's been here. Decker Finch has appeared after. Necrophages tore the body apart. Can't say what killed him, though. Sword wounds. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Somebody's well off, especially for Velen. A Leshen's head, chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well, somebody beat me to it. Gut sliced open, probably died defending its owner. First cut severed the aorta, Second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly. Didn't put up a fight. Blade pierced her back between vertebrae. Severed her spinal cord. She couldn't move. Bled to death. Blood. Mixed with something. Smell. Alcohol. Earth ball. And wolf's bane. A potion. This blood didn't come from a peasant. Imperial mustache. Plump cheeks. Important man. Cause of death, stab wound. Blade between the ribs, straight to the heart. Holding something. Silver chain, snapped. Ripped it off someone. Shit. Stop. doll, and a child's footprints. you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Kill her! Murder her! I got it wrong. I'm... I can't. Same as him! Same as? Same as him! The bad man who killed everyone! Did he have two swords on his back? Some spook. 
A Kusubamir said we best fetch a witcher. See one came. Look, looks like you, but there were evil in his eyes. He bores the spook's headset. Uncle Sobermere were not happy about something. They yelled and they cursed. And then he went to the barn and and. <laughs> I gotta see to this bad man. This doll's yours, right? Hug it close and stay put. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If you went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. The stone circle. Need to look around. Palm print, in blood. Had his hand on his wound. Slipped and leaned on his hand to catch his balance. Footprints, barely visible. Must be him. Something. Come all that way to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? I want to chat first, then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on, you know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Not in the mood for guessing games. I knew you were no fun the minute I saw you. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell. But that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. I told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. 
Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn, so's the Baron's men would take it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. I fell for it, like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. So you decided to massacre the whole village? What would you have done? Gone to the local magistrate to file a complaint? I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties, to the cheating, to them begging me for help and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect horses like that? So I drew steel and didn't sheathe it till the ground was slick with blood. The girl, why'd you spare her? Cause, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't talk. Reminded me of my sister. How I remember her from just before they took me away to the school of the cat. How is she now? Died about 10 years ago, of old age. Well, we've had our little heart to heart, witcher to witcher. What now? A lot of innocents died in that village. Yeah, they did. My fucking bad. Got carried away. Not the first time either, right? Wanna kill me, Wolf? Fine. Draw your blade. But don't force me to confess. Stand and fight. <sighs> wow. So that chat. What the hell was the point? I give folk a chance to defend themselves. Unlike you. Hmm. Awful chivalrous. A regular defender of the downtrodden. <laughs> so mind if I have a dose of swallow? Come on, I'm injured. Believe in the odds a bit. From what I saw, uneven odds are what you like. Yeah, but only when they're in my favor. Sorry, not this time. Draw your sword. You'll never learn. The soil lie light upon you. Should get back to the kid before something else sniffs her out. ever again. So, so you'll take me to my aunties? It's, it's awful here. Sure thing. Let's go. Think, think I could ride on your shoulders? Huh. <laughs> so long as you promise not to pull my hair. I promise. Then I'll bon up. doing here, you naughty girl? I... cause... back in the village... there's no... I'll explain. 
You run along and play a bit, all right? There was a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? No, a... Another witcher did it. Villagers provoked him. They speak true of you lot. Heartless and cruel. Murderers all! Not all. He's received the ultimate punishment. Enough said. What of it? Ye think that settles things? That folk will forget? No, they won't forget. They'll continue to fear us, hate us. I've grown accustomed. Doesn't matter. Didn't come here to make peace. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. What? You call me a murderer and want to entrust a child to me? Ye shan't lead her around with an empty belly. There's that. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six, but we buried two last winter. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Take this. Use it for food, and only food. If I come back and see you drinking... So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. Time I was on my way. No? But... but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. 
Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you for everything. Listen, would you craft something for me? So long. Your kind spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. Why is your air so great, darling? Cool. 